Well, for more on the trade war between the U.S. and China, CGTN's Wang Guan sat down with former U.S. Secretary of Commerce and former U.S. Ambassador to China, Gary Locke. Locke calls the Trump administration's decision to launch a trade war with China regrettable. Here's more of his perspective. Well, this is most regrettable because the U.S.-China relationship has grown steadily uh, for uh, ever since uh, President Nixon uh, visited China and, and after the normalization of relations between our two countries. Uh, and there's so much in which the United States and China cooperate. Yes, we have some economic differences, but we need to make sure that we're able to manage and solve those differences as we continue to collaborate on the many areas of agreement. Actually, there are no winners in a trade war. Everyone loses. Uh, the workers uh, of both sides, the consumers, the companies, and especially the consumers. Uh, and this will have long-lasting impacts uh, on our economy and on the pocketbooks of everyday people. So it's imperative that the two governments try to get together and resolve whatever the differences are instead of resorting to tariffs. Tariffs are a terrible way to address whatever grievances or concerns the U.S. government may have and U.S. companies may have with respect to the economic policies of China. What has been the impact so far on U.S. businesses and exporters and consumers? Uh, very specific sectors are being hit and being hit hard. And this is going to uh, create problems, economic problems, loss of jobs, loss of profits and income for many, many people on both sides of the Pacific. Uh, but if the tensions continue and, and if the promise of further uh, tariffs by the United States followed by retaliation by China proceed, then we could have major impacts on the economies of both countries. Well, the tariffs uh, by China on our state right now are being felt in the agricultural sector on our uh, exports of wheat, apples and cherries. Uh, and obviously, if uh, President Trump follows through with additional tariffs, the Chinese government will retaliate. And that could impact many other exports, whether it's Boeing airplanes to software to machinery. Uh, we are a very trade-dependent state, and a big portion of our exports go to China. So tariffs will obviously make uh, Washington state products more expensive. How would you advise the Trump administration as the former Secretary of Commerce? How would you uh, go about dealing with China in terms of economics and trade? I think America really has more concerns with the trade policies and the industrial policy of, Ch of China. Number one, that so many sectors of the Chinese economy are off limits to foreign and American investment. Number two, that if investment is allowed, it oftentimes must be with a Chinese partner and that the American foreign firm may not have more than 50 percent ownership, has to be less than 50 percent ownership. And number three, as a condition of doing business in China, uh, and especially with joint venture partners, the American and foreign firms must share their technology. But tariffs uh, are the wrong way in which to try to address those concerns. The U.S. warships passed through the Taiwan Strait recently. Uh, it constantly challenges China's sovereign claims in South China Sea, and now this trade war. Um, are we at a turning point? Do you think the U.S. administration is turning from China engagement to China containment? Well, I can't speak for this administration. I know that uh, under President Obama, uh, we very much wanted to uh, uh, rebalance our focus onto the Asia-Pacific region, and that meant more engagement with uh, the n nations of the Asia-Pacific region. But that also meant more engagement with China. Uh, certainly, we have long had concerns about some of the claims by China over sovereignty of the South China Sea and even in the North uh, China Sea. But we always want those things to be resolved diplomatically and not by force. Uh, I can't speak uh, to President Trump, but no one seems to understand what he's doing and what his motivations are. Uh, we are obviously concerned by the, uh, the hotter rhetoric uh, that he utters, uh, whether with China or North Korea or other nations.